Training camp has reached the midway point in Florham Park. The countdown to week one is on. As the Jets prepare for their second preseason game against the Falcons, questions are starting to loom over the banged-up secondary. You guys mentioned Tremaine Johnson with the Jets. It is now a week-to-week hamstring injury, according to Adam Gase. Now that you lost uh, Tremaine Johnson, hey, uh, you're, you're... Great opportunity for somebody. Yesterday, seeing that, you know, at first you're kind of like, that really doesn't need to happen right now. Right. But then you transition into, this is going to be a great opportunity for somebody. Somebody has to step up. Somebody's got to grow up right now. Like, we, we don't have time to wait. And, and that's, how, that's how you have to look at it. With number 22 sidelined, number 20 is a welcome sight. Marcus May is practicing for the first time this summer. When he's been on the field, he's one of the Jets' best defensive players. Keenum takes the snap, drops back, slant left, end zone, tipped and intercepted, picked off and running right. Out to midfield is Marcus May. 10, five, brought down at the one but injuries have hampered the third year safety. How good was it to have uh, Marcus back out there? It's good to see him out there. He's a really good player. And with him and 33 out there together, I feel pretty good. How good did it feel? Kind of limited, but how good did it feel to be back? Uh, it felt great. Um, it's been a long process, um, but just getting out there, running around, getting the feel of things, being out there with the guys, uh, definitely feels good to be back. With his focus on getting healthy, and a big season ahead, May's never lost sight of how he got here and his hometown roots. None of this was here. It was just a big, a big patch of grass. Um, it started with Mighty Mike's flag football. We were just young, having fun, just out here playing sports, um, not knowing what it would lead to. The road to the NFL starts at a young age. As Marcus prepares for his third professional season, he's taking time to give back to the next generation of stars. This guy don't even need no introduction. This guy from Melbourne, Florida. His college, University of Florida. My bro, his name is Marcus May, AKA All Daddy May. Time it up, time it up, time it up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Y'all ready? Now yeah. ready. It's a small town, but it's, it's a lot of people and it's a lot of heart. So just to have, you know, the, the opportunity to give to the kids and have them somebody and some, something to look forward to, definitely a blessing. A great guy. I mean, got core values that his family stand by and he stand by. So, I mean, you, you can't go wrong with Marcus, man. Right? Man, Marcus means everything in this community. I mean, just seeing... Seeing the turnout, I mean, seeing all the parents that brought their kids out, I mean, on a Saturday, you know, they could be doing anything else, but, you know, they came out to support him. So, he definitely means a lot to his community. I feel like they really idolize him and they really look up to him, so it's really, you know, a testament to who he is. I love coming home. I mean, like I said, it's a small town. When you grow up from here, everybody knows you. Everybody knows you know, basically the journey that you took because everybody watched you grow up. Where May has come from has shaped who he is today. But a big piece of who he is is a piece he lost years ago. Probably one of the most significant spots for me in this town, my best friend's memorial. He went to Melbourne High School, played basketball together, baseball together, football together. On November 28th, 2010, Shaquille Ferry was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting. It was a devastating loss for the Melbourne community. He brought light to the city, a light to a lot of the kids that he grew up with, that we grew up with. He was somebody that everybody knew. Um, so, you know, like I said, we all celebrate him still to this day. For Marcus, he lost his best friend. I wear him on my wrists, and I have been since high school. 
you know, just somebody that will always be with me. You know, somebody that's been watching over me for a while now. He is my motivation. He's uh, been a part of me since I was a little kid, so, you know, just keeping him with me it allows me to keep going. Motivated to carry on Key's legacy, May was a standout safety at Holy Trinity High School. As one of the top recruits in the country, he stayed close to home and played at the University of Florida. I mean, just a tradition that, you know, that Florida carries second to none uh, as far as being, some, being a part of something so great and being a part of a tradition like that. Always watch Reggie Nelson, you know, how he played the game. For Wilson, that's going to be picked up. Reggie Nelson, he could go a long way. Touchdown, Florida. You can go all the way back to, you know, Lito Shepard. Just being, you know, that Florida defense uh, in the secondary. And then you can go to Joe Hayden, Major Wright, those guys. It's walking down the sideline. Seeing them win the national championship, Reggie and uh, Joe coming from Melbourne. So I was like, you know, why not continue it? They brought the thunder to the SEC as he went on to become a first team All American after the 2015 season. A lot of his instincts, a lot of his, you know, the will to, to go get the ball. There's something about being back there in that position, just seeing the ball, getting the ball. Making that big interception, making that nice tackle. It's just something about the position that I fell in love with. With the 39th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Marcus May, defensive back, Florida. A second round pick of the Jets in the 2017 draft, May made an immediate impact for the green and white. It's intercepted! The Marcus May with the interception! After an injury shortened sophomore season, he's ready to bring the boom back to the Jets secondary. It's pretty tough, you know, because you want to be out there with your guys. You never want to be sitting and watching. You know, we put in so much work from a little kid to finally reach our dreams and goals. It's just something that we can't let slip away. I don't think there is a ceiling. I mean, there is, you know, always room for growth, room for improvement. You know, I'm just trying to go out there and be the best that I can be every day. They know when I'm out there, how I'm going to play. I want to go give them all, go 100%, you know, make as many plays that I can, be around the ball. But, you know, I'm excited for this year.